Well, well, well. Never thought I'd live to see the day you finally got here. Thanks, Commander. It's good to be back. All right. Let's go take us out some clankers. Yeah! Uh, Cody, where are all the clankers? Oh, I forgot to tell you that uh, Trousseau didn't get around to buying any. So there's no clankers? Nope. Hi everyone, I'm True Soul, and this is another Star Wars Black Series update video. So yeah guys, I've been doing a good bit of collecting lately, and now it's time to show you guys some more of my collection. I got three figures today that I'm going to be showing you guys. One of which has been out for a while, and two others that are a little bit more newer. I'm going to go ahead and talk about the one that I already opened <laughs> prior to this uh, video. And that is my Captain Rex, who, for those of you who might not know, is a commander now. Yeah, but this is an action figure of Captain Rex, not Commander Rex. So I'm going to be calling him Captain Rex. So, for all you Star Wars purists out there, don't get mad at me, because this is a Captain Rex figure, not the Commander Rex, right? And yeah, guys, I have been kind of holding off on getting this Captain Rex for the longest time, but I, I kept noticing on Amazon the price of this Captain Rex kind of kept climbing and climbing and climbing ever so slightly. And I was like, you know what, let me go ahead and get this Captain Rex for it's 100 bucks. <laughs> so yeah, guys, I finally got the Captain Rex. And right off the bat, guys, I'm just going to go ahead and say it. This is probably the best clone action figure I've had. Uh, the best clone action figure that I have as of right now primarily because you guessed it he can go into a full T pose guys his articulation is not hindered by his um, armor as much as the other clones which is great uh, his shoulder pads go kind of like into the torso piece so that's why you can get him into like a full T pose so that's pretty awesome I hope that when I get the other like commanders and such that uh, hopefully they'll be the same. Uh, I, my only wish is that uh, they made Commander Cody around the time they made Captain Rex because then maybe Commander Cody would also be able to, you know, have a little bit better articulation. But yeah, guys, uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I usually start off with overall look, but I just had to go ahead and get that out of the way. My only clone in my collection so far. That can do a full T pose, guys. That is that is great. Um, I think about a couple of years ago, I brought my little brother a Cat Rex, and for whatever reason, uh, his Cat Rex's uh, his left arm could not. You couldn't like raise it up for whatever reason, which made me think like, oh, you know, the, that that's just how the toy is, you know. So I was kind of disappointed about that. But turns out his toy was just effective. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel kind of bad now because I'm the one that bought that for him. But hey, I didn't know it was defective. Come on, guys, give me a break. But yeah, let's let's double back a little bit because usually I talk about overall look and let's go ahead and talk about that. Uh, is here's Captain Rex and all his 501st glory, which 501st is my favorite clone legion, and also. What gives Captain Rex's armor a little bit of extra personality is, first of all, his helmet. Now, Captain Rex's helmet, a lot of people might not notice this, but Captain Rex's helmet always has something kind of slightly different about it. It looked like it was kind of a mesh between a Phase 1 Clone Trooper helmet and a Phase 2 Clone Trooper helmet, which I always thought always looked kind of cool, you know. It made Captain Rex kind of stand out from all the other clones. So I really like that a lot. And we can't forget about his tally marks, which he has a good bit on. It seems like everywhere you look, you find some more tally marks. Because Captain Rex took out a lot of clankers. But <laughs> to be honest, if it was more realistic, his entire uh, body should be covered 
<laughs> in Tally Marks, because, I mean, Cat Rex, man, he could probably take out a whole clone army by himself. Did I just say clones? He probably could take out a whole clone army by himself, you know, because Order 66 and had to, you know, help us so he can get away. But <laughs> what I meant to say was he could take out a whole droid army by himself. Well, I can't take out anything by myself, sir, because you didn't buy any clankers. <laughs> Okay, okay, everybody. Yes, I still do not have any clankers, but I, I'll, I'll probably have to start prioritizing that a little bit more. I really need to get some battle droids. There's kind of no point in having clones if, you know, there's no clankers for them to shoot at. I guess they could shoot the Jedi, but <laughs> I prefer my clones to help the Jedi, not destroy the Jedi. But, yeah. Uh, another thing I wanted to talk about is... Um, I don't know what you call this cloth part down here. I, I keep forgetting what it's called, like a, a quilt part or whatever. I like how that's kind of really fastened into place. It doesn't really move around a whole lot, so it's not really going to get messed up or anything. And also his uh, shoulder pauldron, which I, at first I thought was going to hinder articulation a lot, but it actually bends a little bit this and that way, so you can you know get Rex's arms into more pose. Um, let me see, what else before I forget? Oh yeah, his antenna can also come down. I think some clones will like use that to like... I'm actually not sure what the clones use that for. Comment down below if you know <laughs> if the clones could actually like fold the little antenna piece down and what, why they did that exactly. But yeah. I also, I also noticed uh, the little orange... Looks like there's like some orange lines across Rex's armor, which I actually never noticed in the show. I'm not sure if this Captain Rex is, was based off of a, a specific uh, arc or anything. It's been a while since I watched Clone Wars. I really need to go back and rewatch the entire thing. <laughs> <laughs> that would be pretty cool. Um, oh yeah, let's go ahead. Uh, weapons, accessories. He only comes with two. With but all in all, I'm really glad to have this Captain Rex. I finally have someone to back up Anakin in battle. Now all I need is some default 501st clone troopers for, you know, Captain Rex to give commands to. And also some clankers. Captain Rex, I'm gonna need you to calm down, okay? I'm gonna get some droids, okay? I promise. Just be patient. Sheesh. All right, let's go ahead and move on to our next figure, which is the sith jet trooper now in case you guys uh yeah watch my last video uh i actually had went to walmart and i had saw the sith jet trooper and i saw the knight of ren but i decided to at the time go ahead and get the knight of ren because he was the last one there but thankfully when i went back to walmart the sith trooper was still here so i actually didn't open up this guy yet so let's go ahead and get to that right now and I have them, ladies and gentlemen, the Sith Jet Trooper. Uh, pretty much the First Order Jet Trooper, but red. But I'm gonna be honest, the, uh, the Sith Trooper, which is pretty much just the First Order Jet Trooper in red, actually looks pretty cool. Um, I did want to get two First Order Jet Troopers, but I was prioritizing other figures at the time. So, you know, this Sith Jet Trooper will work pretty good. I'm probably gonna need to get me some Sith uh, some like, you know, First Order Sith Troopers or whatever, or what are they call in the movie, Final Order Sith Troopers, but yeah, when it comes to Sith Jet Trooper, still has the same decent articulation, just like the First Order Jet Trooper, he comes with a, now this gun actually looks a little bit different from what the First Order Jet Trooper had, I think the First Order Jet Trooper has had like some type of like, it was some type of weird barrel that like had like three different like holes, this one just has one, and I really like the, the red that they added onto it, which looks pretty cool. Still has that weird logo on his chest that looks he's trying to promote some type of company. I don't know what it is. I wonder if that's some type of Star Wars language. It would be cool to find out exactly if, what that means in Star Wars. If any of you people know out there, kindly let me know. But yeah, I don't really have anything else to really say about this trooper other than he's really gonna add some extra color to my collection 
mostly right now most of my figures are either black or white or there's um, some other type of color that's very dark but you know this uh sift trooper in his bright red or really you know help him stand out in my collection along with my red imperial uh guard so that'll actually look pretty cool all right guys but moving on to the final figure for today's video uh i have pre-ordered him from big bad toy store a while back and he's here now and it is none other than the child from the mandalorian more popularly known as Baby Yoda, but he's not Baby Yoda, so... He's the child, guys. <laughs> yeah, guys, I literally tried to look up what Yoda's species was called, but uh, apparently they don't have a name, and I... <laughs> oh, but alright, guys, this is uh, another figure that I actually have not opened up yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that right now. Alright guys, Baby Yoda is out of the packaging, and can I just talk about how itty bitty and teeny weeny the child is, like, I, I know it's a baby, but I was not expecting it to be as small as it was, like, he's so small guys, like, I feel like if, if I ended up dropping this figure, there is a chance I might not be able to find it, <laughs> so, I might want to hold on to that. But yeah, guys, funny enough, uh, the child actually does have some articulation. Not a whole lot. His joints are actually uh, actually pretty easy to pop out and put back in if you want. But he doesn't have, you can move the hands a little bit this way and that. Uh, let me see. You can move the head around. You can do a total 360. Um, how funny would it be if this toy had ankle pip? That would be hilarious. <laughs> But yeah, guys, um, that's a really small figure, guys, and the accessories that he comes with are even smaller. We have, he actually comes with three accessories, none of which I don't think he can hold, which is a little sad, but let's see. He comes with the frog alien creature. Not sure what his actual name is, but it looks like a frog, so that's what I'm going with. I believe he comes with one of the, like, the gear thing that he pulled off of the off of a ship whenever that scene when the Mandalorian went yeah you, you know what I'm talking about he has it comes with that and I'm not gonna lie the other thing I'm not sure what it is oh, I'm sorry guys but yeah it's actually nice that they put all three of these in there I know what the, comes to the child you know again he can't really hold any accessories but it's still nice that they actually put these in there it was a nice little addition and the funny thing is the child kind of took the world by storm there was like next to no uh you know merchandise for the child i guess because they didn't know that the child was going to be that popular but lo and behold he is and now yeah you know they have plushies and they have figures and they have all this other stuff and it's just really great to see and yeah uh this baby yoda is probably would get the award for the cutest figure in my collection in fact i'm gonna have some pictures of captain rex holding baby yoda probably have some pictures of luke holding baby yoda probably have some pictures of leia holding baby yoda why not probably have some a picture of hulk holding baby yoda too because why not in fact i'll probably just have a, a montage of just different people holding baby yoda you can just enjoy it right here yep uh, however, there is one downside to this, guys. I was expecting to already have my Star Wars Black Series Mandalorian before this came out. And uh, funny story, actually. Uh, so I ordered a Mandalorian action figure from Amazon, right? I ordered it back in January. Now, as of, as of watching this video, it's May, but I ordered it back in January, right? Uh, so they said it shipped and according to the information on amazon it's not scheduled to get here until september guys that's near the end of the year and I, I was going on there trying to figure out you know why that's the case but they they 
kind of didn't really give me an answer. All they kept telling me was that it's going to get here by September. But no one could tell me why it was going to get here by September. I wasn't sure if it was out of stock, which doesn't make sense because how could they ship it if it's out of stock? So I was thinking about getting a refund, but apparently you can't get a refund if you don't actually have the item. <laughs> which the item is apparently already shipped and I have no idea where it is. All I know is that it's supposed to get here in September. So yeah, guys. But funny thing is, I actually want to see if it comes in September. <laughs> Uh, they, they, they're uh, coming out with a, another Mandalorian figure, uh, the one that has like, you know, the whole package, he has the, the jetpack, and he has, you know, all that extra cool stuff, that silver armor and everything, I'm already planning on getting one of those, it would be very funny if that one came, and I got that one before the original one came. <laughs> oh yeah guys, but... Rest assured, the Mandalorian will eventually get here one way or another. And then he will be able to also hold Baby Yoda like he's supposed to. Well, guys. Ooh, this one was long. I've been talking a lot. I'm not going to hold you guys anymore. I'm going to go ahead and end this one right here. Let me know down in the comments below which one of these three figures is your favorite. Also, let me know if you have the Baby Yoda, also known as the child. What do you guys think? Do you like them? Do you not like them? or what also be sure to follow me on twitter as you stay updated whenever i upload a video and also if you're into uh action figure pictures or photos like that also follow me on my instagram where i post many photos that you don't see in my videos well guys until then be sure to like subscribe and check out my channel for other videos catch you later